her, but you can call me T-Ray. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy enough to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, girl, I missed you. So as you can tell from the title, this is gonna be a get ready with me makeup style video. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys what products I use to achieve this look. So if you're interested in seeing, keep on watching. I don't think I've ever done my makeup with jewelry on. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it's just like the, the the final steps of the process. But since I'm doing my makeup with my scarf on, I figure it. I will add a little razzle dazzle, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then before I start, I'm about to try this kombucha. It's by Brew Doctor. It's citrus earl gray. It's blood orange, bergamot, lemon, and black tea. I've never had this flavor, but I've definitely had Brew Doctor before. So let me try it real quick. Okay, she's good. All right, so um, I'm not gonna prime my face because I did my makeup the other day without doing primer and I actually really liked how it turned out. So I'm gonna do the same type of situation. Um, I actually just did my skincare routine and I'll list the products that I used right here. Um, I have on sunscreen, so yeah, we're gonna go in and start our makeup. So I'm not sure when this changed for me, but like lashes used to be the very last step of my like makeup process. Like it was the like grand finale, the pop at the end, you know? But I start with lashes on now. I don't know why. I don't know when I decided to do that, but yeah, it just works for me. So let me put some lashes on really quick. Okay, lashes are on. You know what's annoying? Like when you're not doing something, like you have nowhere to go, like your makeup turns out like, but then when you're trying to do something, it's kind of like, mm, what's happening? My lash is like super close in the corner and hopefully it doesn't bother me the entire time, but I'm not gonna let it bother me though. So anyway, lashes are on, and now I am gonna go ahead and start with my brows. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. Um, I always start with my brows first. I feel like if my brows turn out pretty good, then the rest of my makeup turn out pretty good. So yeah, I don't. I've always been that way, and. It actually it works oh and I'm turning to the side because my mirror is right here just so you know um, I remember when I learned how to do my brows for the first time um, I actually learned on YouTube I can't remember who taught me or like what video I watched but I definitely learned how to do my brows on YouTube. Sorry, I can't really talk and do my brows at the same time. Like, I feel like I have to really focus. Um, and normally I'm like super close to the mirror. Like I have my face almost planted on the mirror <laughs> trying to do my brows. So doing them like this further back, I'm like super concentrating. And this pencil actually isn't the pencil I normally use. Um, I ran out of the pencil that I use, so this may be a little dark and scary right now, but I swear it's gonna get better. It will. And I've always been like a pencil girl. I used, actually when I learned how to do my brows, I um. 
I taught myself with a uh, elf pomade. Um, but I haven't used a pomade since I learned how to do my brows. I just feel like pencils are like easier and they're you're able to con control them more. I don't know. But I definitely prefer a pencil over a pomade. And I definitely need to get my brows arched. It's been a really long time. Um, and then to clean them up, I'm gonna use my concealer that I'm gonna use um, under my eyes after I put foundation and stuff on, but I use NARS Medium Dark 1.5. I'm not even about to try to say this word. Uh, but yeah. I actually really used to be heavy into Fenty beauty products, like heavy. I'm one of those girls, and I've said this multiple times, I'm one of the girls that like once I get stuck on something or like once I feel like something works really well for me, it's hard for me to try something new, like super hard. But... I am now a NYX girl and I absolutely love it. definitely given it's going to be a good makeup day mm -hmm. that's what it's giving all right i'm gonna blend this out and then we are going to go in with foundation and i use the soft matte complete foundation in medium deep three i believe the shade is called cadiz or that's how i pronounce it at least um and I don't know about y'all, but I am a like save the box, save the container type of girl. I don't know. I just, I don't know why I do it, but it just makes me feel a lot better. And it, I feel like it keeps my makeup clean. So yeah, um, I have my concealer box too. <laughs> and I also, I'm super late to the, the whole back of the hand thing but I now put my foundation on the back of my hand. I used to just put it on my face directly, but on the back of the hand is much better. to get paper towel. Listen, talking while you're doing your makeup is definitely a skill because I feel like I'd be so focused when I'm doing my makeup, like, the girls who just do it, like, y'all are, y'all the ones, for real. Because, I don't know, I just feel like I need to not talk and pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> Which makes no sense. But, yeah. Have y'all switched to your, well, not have you switched. Do you switch between your winter and summer foundation? I know I'm supposed to, but I just haven't. 
like I said, once I find something that works for me, like it's hard for me to switch. And I know that probably doesn't make sense because like all I need is just a shade down for my foundation. It's the exact same foundation. Nothing will change, but it actually matching my face, you know? But I'm still using my summer shade. We'll switch at some point. Um, but yeah, do you switch between your winter and summer shades or do you just rock with one foundation? I actually really wanna try um, skin tint this year or tinted moisturizer. I really, really want to try that. I When the Fenty Beauty skin tint first came out, I was like on it. Like I got it as soon as it came out. And they said that whatever shade you were in the foundation, like they had the matches for like the foundation and the skin tint. And the skin tint I got was way darker than my foundation. And it really hurt my feelings. And I never exchanged it or got a different one. Why? why i don't know i just didn't um but i should have but yeah i want to try some skin tint and some foundation i actually tried the lip bar skin tint or i don't want to you know say the wrong thing uh tinted moisturizer from the lip bar um i can't remember i can't remember if i liked it or if i had the right shade or what but if you do use skin tint or tinted moisturizer, what is your favorite brand and what do you suggest? I don't look crazy, do I? Possibly. But once everything is on, <laughs> we'll be good. Um, now I'm gonna go back in with concealer to brighten up under my eyes and things. See, girl, I be focused. I be, I'm forgetting that I'm supposed to be talking to y'all. So are you into full beat or natural beat? I am very much into like natural beat. Um, I want to look like I have on makeup, but I want it to be like, natural looking and really simple and yeah I don't know I just that's just my thing I feel like I always do a natural beat even when I used to like do eyeshadow like I would do the same eyeshadow look all the time like, I want you to know I have an eyeshadow, but I don't want it to be too much. I was watching one of my girls. Um, she was doing her makeup in one of her vlogs, Brittany. Hey, girl. And she was saying that she was applying her found well, not her foundation. She was doing her concealer with a dry sponge. Um, and she was kind of explaining, like, you know, she feels like it picks up less product, like, as opposed to like when you use a wet sponge. And I have never blended out my concealer with a wet sponge um i probably tried it 
let me not say never i may have tried it once like in the beginning stages of me learning how to do my makeup but other than that i always blend out my concealer with a dry sponge and i i think i agree like it it picks up less product so like you have more to like move around we're gonna go in with some liquid blush i use rare beauty this is in the color hope i want to get more into blush um i feel like like i know blush is that girl but like i don't feel like i'm into it as much as the other girlies are i don't know Are you a blush girl like look at me like i be so focused like i'm like girl say something um <clears throat> but yeah are you into blush i really want to get more into it because it's really cute but like excuse me i feel like i need to try some more blush products rare beauty is the first liquid blush i've tried um i normally always use this one, she's super old. Uh, this is a, a Milani blush that I got from Target. And I'm still going to use it. I'm just going to put it on top of this. And I also saw, I don't know where I saw it. I think I saw it on TikTok that the girls are like putting it up more. So that's what we're doing here. Um, And then, oh, you know another thing I want to do? Okay, so after blush, I'm going to set with my Fenty Beauty powder. Um, I want to go back to using the Pro Conceal, like squeeze tube concealers, because I use powder to contour. Like, I don't use liquid. Uh, no, I don't cream contour and then set with the powder contour. I just do straight powder. I've always done that. Not, uh, not always, but since I've gotten more advanced in doing my makeup i just use powder but i want to go back to using cream all right i definitely have to be focused for this part <laughs> one thing that i always have loved about makeup is you really can do whatever you want. Like you don't have to follow a certain like, I don't know, step-by-step -step guide, I guess. Like you can do your makeup in any order that you want. And once you get it down, like it always turns out the same way. You know what I mean? Like there's a bunch of people who like don't do their makeup in the steps that I'm doing my makeup. And their makeup comes out bomb. But I'm doing my makeup in the steps that I'm doing my makeup. And I think it comes out pretty bomb. So, yeah. Another thing that I don't do is I don't bake. I've never really baked. And I'm being for real when I say never. I've always, like dusted it off once I have it all on. I'm sure y'all can hear the TV. My son is in the living room watching Bluey. And I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm so happy that he's letting me do this. I've never done a sit down makeup video with him. Cause I know I know he'll just be like, Where why are you sitting there? Like, what are you doing? Like, I need you. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I don't want to speak too soon. Okay, now after we contoured, 
I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty um, powder foundation. I actually use this to contour because once again, they said that powder, the powder contour will match the liquid foundation shade that you use and this was too dark. Or maybe I just got the wrong, maybe it was the wrong season for the right shades. Girl, I don't know, okay? But I'm using the powder foundation to contour. I used to use like a MAC bronzer. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I used to use a MAC bronzer, but this works pretty well for me. All right, after contour, I go in with powder blush. And I actually found this blush right here. She's really cute. This is the NARS Orgasm blush. I like her, she's cute. I'm still gonna go in with my Milani. Girl, the container is broke and everything. But she's so cute. Alright, and then after blush, we go in with highlight. Highlighter. Fenty Beauty, Kilowatt, and Afternoon Snack, and My Money. Let me add a lip. I'm gonna do this lip liner in from Morphe. This shade is spiffy. I normally use um, chestnut lip liner from Mac, but I used this one the other day, and I was like, okay, she's cute. And then I'm gonna take this juicy tube and it's called hallucination and then I top it off with the Fenty Beauty diamond milk gloss bomb juicy tube is I really like it but it's that gloss that's like super sticky you can only deal with that you know every once in a while
This actually looks really good by itself, but when I added the diamond milk on top, did a little something different to it. Okay, now let me take this scarf off. All right, so this is the finished look. What do we think? Do we like? Um, I actually ran out of setting spray, so I can't set my face right now. But this is her right here. Um, yeah, this is my every, I don't want to say every day because girl. I do not do my makeup every day, <laughs> but this is my every time I do my makeup, makeup look. Um, and yeah, this was my first one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If I do more, we're going to get a little bit better. Okay. So, you know, make sure you subscribe and stick around so we can see the progression. You know what I mean? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Hope you had a good time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video.